Now, on, on tour, now, just going at that uh, age of, of 19 and just like... 17 is 17. the first time I went on tour. Now, 17. Yeah. This is damn near almost five years that you really haven't really seen the New York pavement like that a lot. Like, How does that feel? Um... Well, to be honest, wait, wait, oh, you talk about like just being on the yeah, road just, since just I was like, Yeah, since you've been 17. Well, first off, I want to say, you know, putting a 17-year-old on the road straight out of high school is a life-changing thing, especially me being like, you know, deemed a conscious rapper at the time. My first tour was with Juicy J. Wow. Can you imagine how crazy Jesus that was? Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ is, is, is exactly what you, be, you should be Ooh. saying because that joint right there changed my life. I was wildin'. Mm -hmm. Young, wild, reckless, to the maximum power. You know at at the door, where's Joey at? Yeah. He's doing a three show ask right I, now. Ask Halim. <laughs> <laughs> Boy out here, yeah. he young and living it, sowing the world oats all over the place, Hell man. Yeah. But I, I'm assuming, and it wasn't just uh, here stateside, man. He was out here, he was moving around the world. Very true. What was it like getting that passport together? You was fucking hustling trying I can't to lie, my, my passport together. like a book. My passport like this thick. I right bet now. you had like, to spend that extra fifty for the I the, uh, the other the, the larger book, the larger <laughs> passport the book. Yeah, word yep. up, word up. <laughs> Hell yeah, I mean, all I could really say, man, is a is a blessing. You know, on the torrent tip, is nothing like getting in front of your fans. You know, what I'm saying, and, and giving them that show because that's the initial dream you know that's uh -huh. what every artist dreams of when they, and they mirror what they brush you know what I'm saying yeah you're performing in front of an invisible crowd so yeah. when that shit finally translates it's like yo this is everything I work for yeah you're actually doing something that is an anomaly right now you're able to sell a whole a shitload of records yeah with no radio minimal out. radio yeah. look, look look Joey pointed that out yeah, yeah. minimal yeah. No and radio I, I'm out. sure it's, a, it's not fucking rocket science I know you know this and stuff but we we want to be part of the people who crack the code up here. What is how is it? What's your success? What's your what's your secret? I mean, you know, the game changed uh, as soon as the internet came around. Mm -hmm. With the internet, I know what it did for me. It, it cut out the middleman. I didn't have to, you know, go out physically and you know meet somebody at A and R for from a label or some shit. My A and R was YouTube. Yeah. Me putting my videos up, you know what I'm saying, and sending it to World Star and hoping it get picked up, which it eventually did way after the shit. But you gotta you be know, quiet because now people gonna try to you know take that style right. I mean, I people mean, yo, are they doing it every it. day. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like ever since for the la over the last like six years, like it 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 fucking quadrupled. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? My method and what that was is like I kind of trolled the world. I don't know if y'all know that the way I got on, the way I got the attention of my manager i troll him and not troll him in the way that you see today it's just like you know when you click on youtube videos and you click it because it's clickbait yeah. the title you know what i'm saying and what i did was i had this one video when i was 15 years old and i was freestyling and you know i told myself it was gonna go viral i was like all i'm gonna do is shoot a freestyle video get yeah. a world star send it to unsigned hype and i'm gonna be viral just like that i thought it was that easy so what you put i put it did, out in the air yeah i it made is. i made the video and then you know i put it on my youtube i sent it to world star like 80 times they never picked it up so then after that what i did was i changed the title on youtube i changed it to from 15 year old jov which is my name at the time yeah spits of freestyle to 15 year old freestyles for world star now after i Smart. did that the the views started going up. People at school started coming up to me like, yo, I see your video on World Star. And it's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> but you thought you did when you clicked yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the bars was kind of up to par. You know what I'm saying? Kind of up to the, par. The yeah, views was going up. You <laughs> feel me? So it was like, oh, yeah, this shit had to be on World Star. Unsigned hype. I could see this. And then that's how my manager, Johnny Scheiss, found me. You know, he seen that video and he hit me up on the same shit. Y'all seen a video on World Star. No, you did it, but it's cool. I'll mm -hmm. take that, and then you know we've been rocking ever since. And now, how, eventually, he got on World Star. Now, how was that meeting with Johnny? Because uh, he just came to you. Did you know about him? Um, no, I didn't. And um, you know, he reached out to me via Twitter because on the end of that video, I put my Twitter up like contact information. Yeah. Very important to put your information <laughs> yeah, on the end of every important. video that you put very, out there. Remember, very Twitter important. was popping at one point yeah. too. It's still popping. Yeah, yeah, Twitter definitely still popping. But at that point, you're right, it was like the thing. Like, yeah, that was the thing. Was like the Facebook, new, new. Nah. My fault, Greg. I, I, you know, I'm not really on Twitter still, like that, still, but it's still, you still know, talking walls and all that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely still is. But, um,
you know, the first encounter with Shice was like, um, as soon as he had reached out to me, I did my research and I seen that he used to manage Foxy Brown, uh, Sean Kingston at the time he was managing Nipsey Hustle, Smoke Dizzy, Big Chris. So I was like, oh shit, this guy's official. Yeah. He, he ain't no phony, you know what I'm saying? So I reached back out to him and I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I looped in my parents because, you know, I was young at the time. Mm -hmm. For me to be going, me with them there. Joey, you're still exact, young. You know you're still young saying? at the time. Yeah. Hell yeah. Took now, back. Joey, how did you get that name? So, um, you know, when I was in high school, I used to skate a lot with the homies. And uh, one day we was skating home. And, uh, you know, we was just on the boards. We was cruising. And, uh, you know, my boy looked at me. He was like, yo. Like, just the way we was cruising, we was cruising down this hill, and she's like, yo, don't you feel so badass right now, bro? Was you was high? Like, yeah, yeah, we had to be high. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, bro, I definitely do. And, like, since then, the name just stuck, you know what I'm saying? Now, how's the militant on tour? Because, you know, it can get real, real weird with the groupies, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes I know the you what? got the, the real weird with the groupies. You know what yeah. I mean? The girls, you know, you got to take the IDs and all this. Because, you know, sometimes they'll try to jam you up on <laughs> I see my man right here. Oh, it's Karate Wale, right? Okay, that's why yeah. I've seen him outside. Yeah. But I know it can get real weird. And and now you know you, you're you're seasoned vet on tour. Mm. That you know, and it's a lot to lose if you get one groupie in there. Hey, there's Joey Bad out of sleep. Do, yeah. do you do you do you oh, yeah, train I don't, the people? I don't play that shit. Do you train the people? Like sometimes if you got your homie that never been on tour with you, like yo, this is how it go down. Um, I haven't really got to that level yet. Um, my next tour, I'll definitely be bringing uh, some newbies with me. <laughs> okay. And I'll definitely be schooling them to it. But, um, yeah, it, it go down, man. It go down on that tour. There should be, like, a bin that every every artist should get and shit. It's like a, a, a certified bin and all the phones got to go in there. You yes. check in oh, your yeah, fucking no, ID we in there. We, that's what we do. I see that's Karate Wale. He like, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> check, sure? check it. In fact, here's Put it the in the fucking bottom. IDs Coke get check. checked. Here you go. Phones get taken. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it's like crazy out there we, right now. Yeah, we got shit to lose out here. Word. Definitely. Now, Joey, before, you know, I know Gray, me and Gray been talking, and I just want to salute you from being from New York yeah. and selling 200,000 copies yeah. without no radio play. It, it's, it's really patience, you know what I mean? Because just being from the hometown, you're like, man. Fuck, they not playing my record, and I didn't yeah. sell two hundred thousand. How do you how do you do the patience of that? Just not. I mean, I'll be honest. You know, before that shit used to really get to me. I had to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, it gets to you. It's like, yo, you feel like everywhere you go, like you know, I mean, the only person I see when I'm on my travels and I'm touring, representing New York, the way I do is Rocky. Right. That's the only person I run into from here doing shit. And he's another one who won't really get that much radio support. True. He yes. could get more, you know what I'm saying? So it just be like, yo, I mean, I guess it is what it is. You feel me? We're going to keep doing what the fuck we doing out yeah. here. And, like, you know, when, when radio's ready to pick up, it'll pick up. For me, you know, I was, like, you know, mentally still a child. Mm -hmm. That's know? what so I'm saying. I didn't know that I should keep certain relationships. Yeah. Like, you know, the first time I went overseas, for example, like I'm in Germany, I didn't think, yo, I might be here one day again. Mm -hmm. Let me let me save some contacts and shit. Nah, I ain't even think of that. I'm like, yo, I'm in Germany. Like, it's lit. Fuck yeah. that. Like, it's hey, just, what's up? Yeah, okay, yeah, and I'm out. exactly. Like, yeah, I'm like having the time of my life right now. Like, okay, DJ, what's I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I was a kid, bro, you know what I'm saying? So now that I'm older and shit, and like, you know, I know how to interact with people. I know how to network. I know mm -hmm. how to keep these relationships, these bridges strong. It's a whole different ball game. There's a TV show that's on that really took me by storm probably last season. Mm. Mr. Robot. Yeah. yeah. And I understand you, you I understand you got the acting bug. Yeah. And now you're gonna be on Checks. the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a dope ass show. And not to mention it takes place in Brooklyn, Coney Island. So that right. you know, I guess it's home for you. Yeah, it's yeah, familiar for sure. territory. For sure. it, it, it worked out perfectly. You know, um I got the the, the the memo to come in and audition and you know i went in i got like two callbacks by the third one i got it you mm -hmm. know and um acting is also has always been a dream of mine you know i went to high school a lot of people don't know that for ninth grade 10th grade i was in a screen theater program at my high school you wow know what I'm saying? like i was focused on becoming an actor like you know when i when i was in middle i'll tell you a little brief little story when i was in middle school 
I had this partner who I used to make music with. Yeah. But, you know, high school came, we knew it was going to separate paths. So he decided to pursue football. I was like, yo, I think I'm going to be on my acting shit. And mm -hmm. I auditioned to get into the school. I got accepted. And, you know, so I got all the knowledge early or whatever. You know, I learned the basics. And, you know, now I've arrived. Music has made it easier. That's made that door easier to open. And yes, man. That Hollywood door. Yeah. It'll be on season two? This is uh, yeah, for the season, upcoming yeah, season, season Mr. Two. Robot, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm a supporting role, recurring. You know, nice uh, oh, yeah. recurring. Thank I, you. I yeah. also I also <laughs> want to salute him because it's only a chosen few, few that can put their crew on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The Dipsets, right? The Fifties, the Rocky, yeah, and Joey Badass. Now the Jay Z, they, they, Kim, you know, the Jay Z. Kim, yeah. We know we we gonna do that, but it's only a chosen few that can say, "Yo, I got my man on. Yeah. He's selling. I got yeah. my other man yeah. Speaking on." Speaking of crews, man, shout out to my man Kirk Knight who's out in Europe headlining his own tour right now. Wow. My man is headlining yeah. his own tour right now. Like, yeah, man. My man Kirk Knight. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now how did that come yeah, about? Yeah, I know man. what he did too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what he did. I, I, yeah. How did that come about that you said, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna have to put my man's on now. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a loyal dude. Like I'm super generous and you know, when it come to like minded individuals who I believe in, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna help them because my one of my main like actually my main purpose on this earth is to inspire individuals and if I can help them yeah. you know what I'm saying I'm an Aquarius I'm the water bear oh, Aquarius you, will, you man. know what I'm saying so it's just like yo like I'm me and him's good friends I'm a Leo people. Aquarius and Leo we we get the, we get along you already know yeah <laughs> and that's yeah. why you fuck with this guy right here he's yeah. a fucking Leo right <laughs> so are we doing a compilation album are we gonna we gonna put together one. What you mean? Like a whole, the whole crew, like oh, pro just, uh, yeah. album. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, we're working on that. We, we actually are, you know. The <laughs> light just, is on right now. As soon as you now. say it into the microphone, it's like people are like, yo, where's that album and shit? But yeah, we working on it. We I gotta assume, man, it. there's at least 30, 40 fucking songs of, of y'all together you know, anyway. You know it. It's in the you bank know already. I mean, I'll admit though, it's like 50 songs, but you know, they're from over the years, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we all got get older as we make music, you know what I'm saying? With every new song, we just get older and older. So there's a lot of shit that might never come out that's fire, that's gold, but you know, it just is what it is. Another collabo that I, I that came out of the blue, me and Gray was talking about Chicago. Yeah, G Herbal. Yes, Shout man. Out to my man's G Herbal. Yeah, G Herbal's a friend of the room, man. It, it, I, that record, I like. That's that's a party record that you. Yeah, had. nah, for sure, for sure. Now, I how did that, that come about? Did y'all talk um, or you was listening Red, to his music? Red Bull linked that up, but you know, me and Herbo, we've been like trying to plan to get into the lab, and then um, you know, last year Herb inked the deal with Johnny. Yeah. So now we you know we label so man, so family. And it, we family and made it that much easier. You know what I'm saying? Red Bull gave me the call. I flew out to L. A. Linked us with Metro Boomin and yeah, we just got in. Wow. Yeah. More 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 um, you know, me and Herbal collabs coming real soon too. Now, uh, I, I'm looking forward to that, man. But before you leave, man, I you know, we, we, we had a passion, legendary passion, and I I feel like you're an old soul. When I listen to Joey Badass, I feel the nineties, man. Can you can you give like a, a quote about Fife, you know what I mean, with Tribe? What what's what's one of your favorite Tri records? Um, definitely Benita Apple Bomb, Electric Relaxation, mm -hmm. Check the Rom, um, Bugging Out, uh, Scenario. <laughs> that was five right there. But um, yeah, uh, like I was devastated, you know. It's just so crazy the way the universe works, you know. The night that he passed, I was just on the phone with Q-Tip because um, crazy. right before, like literally right before it happened, I was on the phone with Q-Tip and I called Tip because I was looking for the Check the Rom video. Cause it wasn't on YouTube, wow. So, yeah, it just wasn't on YouTube, and I was trying to use it as a reference for my Brooklyn Zone video, mm -hmm. the scene when it was on top of the laundry mat and yeah. all that. So I was like, "Yo, Tip, where the video at?" Like, ah, oh, you know, label shit, and then, you know, me and Tip just started building for a little minute, and then you know, it was peace, and then like right after that, like like the news just started, like, to, and and you could tell, I could tell he didn't even know yet, like you know what I'm saying, it yeah, didn't even happen yet, like if you will, and then it's just. It's crazy, man. It's devastating. It's a, you know, sad time in hip hop right now. You know, over the last year we lost Fife, we lost Sean. Yeah. You know, yeah. Wow. Man, but Joey, man, thanks for coming out. You know what I'm saying? What when, when's the album? When's the album coming? Um uh, it's gonna be a lot of new music this year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say the album is coming this year, but there's gonna be a lot of new music. So like that Brooklyn, that Brooklyn come, record might rush it, baby, because it's, it's heating <laughs> up right now. Hey, well, let's do it. Let's yeah. see. You know, if the record could dictate, 
you know what my next move yeah i'll be delighted man. and before you get out of here man i just want to say something real quick ready yeah i like that record a lot thank you brother i, I like that record that. a lot i like that you stood your ground yeah and you're still standing your ground of course on a lot of different things yeah, on a yeah. lot of different levels and if you don't know what i'm talking about all you gotta do is go to the internet see what's up you had it them can't keep a good mind down. Uh oh, oh.